guys, what's up? I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at the NBC Universal Golden Globes After Party 2016. Welcome to the night. How's it been wow. so far? Woo -hoo. <laughs> this is your first, uh, first Globes. Globes. Yeah. It's awesome. I'm totally excited. I'm still, I'm still goosebumping about Brie Larson's win. Obviously, she's my co-star in, uh, or my, my leading lady in, in Room. So. And tell, can you tell us a little bit about Expanse, right? That's oh, the yeah, show? Absolutely. Yeah, Expanse. Expanse is an amazing show. Um, it's the brand new sci-fi series on the Sci-Fi Network. Um, I play a character called Alex Kamal. Uh, we just finished our first five episodes have just aired, and we're getting an amazing response. We've, we, uh, we've got George R. R. Martin on our side. He's, he's been tweeting about us, calling us like uh, the, the sci-fi show you've been waiting for, and That's other people are calling it Game of Thrones in Space. Um, yeah, that's, that's us. And, uh, and we've got like Shore Agdashlu and Thomas Jane, Stephen Strait, Wes Chatham, Dominique Tipper, great cast. Even our, even our supporting cast, our guest stars are amazing. We've got, the, we've got the director and producers of Breaking Bad. We've got the showrunner from CSI, Star Trek Next Generation, uh, Naren Shankar. We've got the writers from Children of Men and Iron Man 1. Uh, and, and we got the novelist, the guys who created the novel that made it such a huge success over the past five, six years. They're writing on our show as well. So it's an absolutely incredible pedigree of creative team. Did you ever, or did you have like a science interest, or did you, have you been learning a lot having been on this show? I am a huge science fiction geek. I'm a geek. I'm a nerd. I've been science fiction. I've been in love with science fiction since I was like just a tiny little. It's perfect for you. It's like a huge kid's dream. Like I'm, I'm a fighter pilot in a spaceship, saving the universe. You know, I'm like, I'm like the East Indian Martian Han Solo. You know, that, that's what, the, that's what I am. Like he's a wisecracking, Mars-born Pakistani fighter pilot with a Texas accent. That sounds amazing. So, I, I, if I had any role to choose, I'd choose Alex because he's he's my favorite guy. What are you looking forward to for the rest of the night? Like, you're going to go into this party. Are you hoping to see anybody? Or what was your favorite, like, highlight of the show other than Brie Larson? It is a, it's a really good year for film and television. And um, uh, whenever I'm at one of these award things, because I was in Argo before, so I got to do the Oscar circuit. And uh, what I don't like all the pomp and circumstance and all the, the glitz. I like being in a room with all of these incredible talent. Being surrounded by, like, I met Ed Asner last night. I, like I grew up with him on the television and he was such a warm sweet funny guy and he had so much kind of just power and presence and just being able to touch those people meet those people get the people that I respect and admire to just talk to me and give me a few words of wisdom that that's why I love about awards it's not every day you get to sit down with like an idol of yours and have a conversation right I heard Michael Fassbender's on the other side of this wall and I'm a huge fan I'm, I gotta get over there I gotta get I gotta go talk to him so He's Congratulations on everything, um, and look for, looking forward to the new show for sure. Thank you, Thank you so much. much. My pleasure. Nice talking to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit like to like this video. Also, subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment with your favorite Golden Globes moment. Here's a hint. It was probably Sly.